are in there. Uh, 43% of the males are in 40 to 50, 11% of the males are in 50 to 60, and so on. That's what that's saying, yeah? It's telling us, with respect to the males, because all of this here adds up to 100. We have 30, 40, 50, 60, okay? Uh, 60... Uh, dun, 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 60, there's a 7 and a 2, 60, that's about 70, uh, 74, 75, 6, 7, 78, 79. Let me actually just add them up on my calculator. I should be able to do them in my head, shouldn't I? So we have 32.1 plus 37.1 plus 4.3 plus 11.2 plus 12.4 plus 2.9 gives us, it gives us 100 okay actually we probably should have asked for the totals as well here so this actually all adds up to 100 it's all of the males distributed across the categories whereas here we have all of the females distributed across the categories if we wanted to know uh, across the roles yeah okay in the 30 to in the less than 20,000 euros category yeah how, what percentage are males and what percentage are females well then that should be defined across the roles so what we'll do is we we'll go back into analyze the script sorry comp uh, tables custom tables okay uh, and what we'll do this time is we'll just click on the, we'll click on the table here okay we we'll go to summary statistics instead of looking for the column percentages this time what we'll look for is the row percentages okay so we we'll put in the row percentages and we'll hit apply to selection close and this time we'll hit okay we get another table now what we can see is that now we have a way of analyzing across the particular categories yeah okay that 45 percent of the respondents of, of the employees in the 30 less than 20 thousand euros category 45.9 are male whereas 54 percent are female okay we then have 76 percent of the of the respondents of the employees in the 30 to 40 category yeah are male whereas 23 are female and you can see what's happening as we go down them. actually an unusual one here is the last category the 70 plus thousand euros a hundred percent of the of the observations in there are males yeah whereas zero are females similarly we have the 60 to 70 uh, thousand euro category 78 percent of the employees in there are male whereas only 21 percent are female so you can see if you're arguing about gender differences with respect to salary with respect to pay this seems to help you with that particular argument from a descriptive perspective if that makes sense and we can continue in this fashion. We can go analyze tables, custom tables. Uh, this time, what I'd like to do is this is I have gender here, males and females, but maybe I want to actually have a look also, okay, across age categories. Age categories split as well at the gender level. So I'm just going to take the age category variable and I'm also going to put it in as the columns, okay? And now you can see the table is getting more complicated, yeah? Uh, but let's just leave it as uh, in this particular fashion. Let's hit OK and let's see what we get. We get a more complicated table here. You can actually see what's happening now is that the columns themselves, there's actually two variables split across it, yeah? The main variable across it is the age categories. And then within the age categories, we've subdivided it down into gender levels, males and females and then across the roles uh, we have here in, 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 in sorry across across here yeah okay across the roles we have uh, the salary band still we've done the count within roles so actually this row here these percentages yeah okay when we're looking at them it's about how many males and females in the 20 to 30 category are less than 40,000 how many males and females in the 30 to 40 cat years category yeah uh, years of age, earn less than 40,000 and so on and so forth. It's getting a bit more complicated there and we can add in more and more variables. Let's do one more, adding in one more variable, custom tables. And this time what I'm going to do is, let's say I add in length of service now in on the columns okay now this gets even more complicated this will generate a very large table in normal view compact view is recommended. Uh, don't show this again. Uh, would you like to switch to compact view? I'm just going to say no, okay? And I'm going to hit OK. And there's the table here. Now, this table is absolutely colossal, yeah? So we're not really interested in this. But you can see it's very sparse, yeah? See? It does tell us information, yeah? Okay? It does tell us. You can see there's lots of zeros. It's very, very sparse with respect to the zeros. So you can actually see that it's only at specific levels where there's actually real observations, yeah? So maybe that'll help you in relation if you want to try to find some, some information. Like out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Out of 10 columns, uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six, seven. Six, seven is 42. 10 times 42 gives There's probably about 420 cells here. And what we can actually see is that, well, well, there's only a small few that actually have values in them that are not zero, yeah? Which means it's very sparse. Which means that from a categorization perspective, yeah, that only certain categories of employees across them four variables are actually employed within this organization. Look, the table is well too big. You wouldn't put that table anywhere in a, in a report, yeah? You'd never, I'd never see that in a report anywhere, yeah? Okay. But one thing that we do get from it is its sparseness, yeah? Okay. Uh, which helps you then to, to, to locate things. Look, all I'm really trying to show here is that we can make these tables more and more complicated by adding in more variables to the columns and more variables to the rows. And there's a lot more types, of, there's a lot more statistics that we can actually generate okay so guys once again uh, this was jonathan lambert with the mathematics development and support service at the national college of ireland and i do hope that this video was in some way uh, intuitive and more importantly i do hope that was helpful for you and thanks for watching okay bye bye